Okay, all right. So, today's homework is similar to last night's, except I'm not adding a little twist to it, okay, based on what we learned yesterday and today. So, the statement as you will find on the blog is this. It's going to say something like, Sabrina Grimm eats two cups of purple mashed potatoes every 20 minutes. I didn't write that. It's, it's right here. It's up on the worksheet. So now, the first thing I want you to think about is when you do that, and when you think about what the table of values would look like, all right? Now, and as you saw in class today, we kind of changed table values already. Uh, right? X and then the, the rule here. Y, and then the coordinate X, Y. All right, so, and we'll leave that blank for a second. Now, first of all, the issue is this, right? Like, two cups of mashed potatoes every 20 minutes. Now, I don't, I don't suppose that anyone here will think that the unit rate is something out of one minute. Right, so we gotta turn minutes into something that's that's a unit rate. So think about that, right? Twenty minutes. What's it? What's the next unit rate? Yeah, right, an hour, right? So we're gonna use hours instead of minutes as the unit rate. So we'll do one hour, two hour, three, four, five, so on and so forth. Right now, you guys already know this, but tw twenty minutes. If you can eat two cups of mashed potatoes, what a silly question. Two cups of mashed potatoes every 20 minutes, then you can eat six cups of mashed potatoes, right? Every 20 minutes, uh, in an hour. You can eat 12 then, right? So on and so forth. And then the question is, well, what's the rule here? So what do you need to do to X? Right, to the input, the independent variable, so that you get a Y like that, right? So what needs to happen? To one, so you'll turn to six, in other words. Yeah, six, six times that number, right? So that means it's one times six, likewise two times six, right? So on and so forth. So here, what is the rule then? Right, let me use a different color just so that I get highlighted. Right, whatever X is, what do you do to it? What do you notice? Six times, six times, right? So it's six times X, that's the rule. Now, as you remember today at the end of the graph, once you draw the line, I don't, I mean, I know the line's gonna be straight through the origin. That's all I gotta say about that. All right, let's say the line looks something like this. You were asked to write the rule right? In other words, the equation, okay? And this is very akin to what you'd be doing in the eighth grade. Now, here we know a 6x, right? That's the rule. But to finish off the equation, so to speak, right? You also need the y here, right? So in other words, the y here, the reason how, why you got that is because you did 6, all these 6s, times x, Right, so that's the that's the rule, so to speak. Y equals six x. All right. Uh, if you want to write the unit rate too, so what's the unit rate, people? Right, six. Right, six over one, six. So the constant of proportionality is six. Right, as we said earlier, y equals kx. Right, the y is going to be the y. X is going to be the x. Right. And K is the one that actually changes, right, from problem to problem. Although, although in one question, in the same questions, the number doesn't change. So that's six. So that's why it's the same equation. All right. So, all right. Okay, I think I covered everything. So on that note, uh, thanks for watching. And have a good one. OMG, that was so good.